welcome back to Compound Racing and uh, today's going to be a short video uh, but one of the videos on our channel that's done well in the past was the video where Justin put or started putting the 140 engine in his go-kart uh, that did well and it was a fun project but like most things that Justin does he stopped doing it uh, he got busy he's overseas right now so when he gets back he's gonna go and, and get that done but he's got a million other projects too so I don't fault him completely but so that did well so I wanna I wanted to do something with my go-kart that I had I have a Predator 212 on mine and it's never been exactly what I wanted I like that style the shifter cart frame you know low to the ground uh, but I've always wanted an actual shifter to be able to go through all the gears and you know clutch dump it and all that stuff so uh, that's what I've always wanted so I was going to buy an engine that Justin had actually I wanted to buy his engine before he started doing that project um, but he didn't want to sell it and so I've been hunting and a new engine for that is like for a brand new 140 cc engine whether it's life fan or piranha or whatever is about six hundred dollars for the engine so I just I didn't want to spend that kind of money um, I would have but I didn't want to so I was hunting and for other engines off and on and um, but I really want something that goes through the gears so I finally found one this morning on Marketplace, I hope. I am heading about two hours north of where I live now to hopefully go pick it up. It seems like it's a good deal, but you never know with the Marketplace these days. So hopefully it's a decent engine and uh, I will show it to you when I have it in my possession. So, just got a little bit of driving now, so get to it in a bit. back at home now so I made the trip about hour and a half north of me and I, I just got back with the new hopeful engine for the go-kart so there's some good news and some bad news so the bad news is uh, the guy who sold it to me couldn't get it to run he said it was running but he couldn't get it to run sitting on the ground so I have to figure out that seems that it was just a spark issue it didn't have a great ground um because it was out of the cart that it came out of so hopefully i can get that resolved and this is still a good deal because i bought it for what i think is a good deal and uh my friends who also know more about them than i do also think it's a good deal so hopefully we'll see what happens but this is what i've got this is a CR80 uh, Honda engine and it is supposedly a real Honda engine it's got uh, V-Force 3 reeds in it um, supposedly this is like ready to go uh, I just need to get it running it's got an F FMF pipe well, that's what I'm told so it had an FMF sticker on it I don't know if that is the actual pipe or not but if this runs and works this will be awesome. Um, this will be so much faster than Justin's go-kart, which let's be honest, that's the only reason I uh, spent the money on this. It's just need to be fast. You can't be the slowest person out of all your friends. And that normally is me. So 
Uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna pull this out now and see if I can't get it running on the ground and we'll go from there. All right, so this is gonna be a project over the winter that I'm gonna do, because I plan on pulling the, the go-kart apart, pulling the, the Predator off that, and that'll probably be up for sale. And uh, then I'm gonna uh, redo all of all of this. Like, I, I don't wanna have rubber hoses. I'm gonna try to do like nice AN lines and stuff like that, and figure out a proper location for the fuel tank and everything, so be a little bit of a process and I want to paint that frame and clean that frame up a little bit so uh, so I'm thinking over the winter so I still have the other project that I want to finish which is the 3h on this on the focus so um, it is all the sensors are mounted and ready to go I need to just temporarily wire them and make sure we're gonna be working uh, and if all that goes to plan, maybe there might be some fine tuning, but I'm hoping that is working. Um, this tire still holding air, which is great. Um, so yeah, so, but for right now, I'm going to try to get that thing going. Um, and if I do, you'll see it again. All right. Okay. So after a bit of tinkering and messing with it, I did get it to cough and then start and run. Not very long because I, I don't have a fuel tank attached to it right now but i'm going to see now if i get it to run again with just whatever's left in the bowls uh and i can guarantee this is going to give me a problem but we're going to see what happens so i'll set this down and see if we can get this to run So, still a lot of work left on it, but I'm happy. I got it for a good deal. So even if it didn't run and I needed to put a top end in it, it wouldn't have been the end of the world. But it's nice that I don't have to do that right now. I will have to eventually, but not right now. So that's going to do it for now in this video. So thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.